Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm gonna show you how this FTDI adapter might save your quadcopter or at least your flight controller. In this bag I have a small graveyard of flight controllers and for example this one stopped working because the USB port was detached actually at the first time I used it which was very unfortunate and unfortunately this one doesn't have any free UART ports so I couldn't save it. However in this flight controller for example there are plenty of free UART ports so connecting it to an FTDI adapter is not going to be a problem. Now it's important to perform the following steps when the USB port is working because it's going to save you a lot of work in case the USB port is going to get detached. So the posts we are going to use on the FTDI are the ground, which is the farthest right, and the third one from the right is the plus 5 volts, then the TX, and then the RX. The next thing we need to do is to connect the FTDI adapter to the flight controller. On the flight controller you will have to locate the plus 5 volts, ground, TX, and RX on a free UART port. I'm going to use UART 3 which is located over here. So I'm going to use the ground, the plus 5 volts, TX3 and RX3. When connecting the RX and the TX from the flight controller to the FTDI, you're going to need to connect the RX to the TX and the TX to the RX, which makes sense because the FTDI is receiving when the flight controller is transmitting and vice versa. So for this demo, I made this adapter. I'm going to connect the ground and the 5 volts, then the TX and finally the RX. Now the FTDI is connected. Of course you can also solder these pins but if you don't want a permanent solution this connector might be enough for you. You can see when I'm plugging the battery the FTDI adapter is working. Then you will need to connect the flight controller to your computer and turn on the configuration MSP on your tree in my case or the your port that you chose to use. Then just hit save and reboot and now if everything goes well you will be able to use the FTDI adapter. So first connect the adapter to the flight controller then connect the USB port. It turned on and now let's see if we are able to connect and voila it is working and we can configure the flight controller according to our needs. So I think that buying an FTDI adapter it costs about two dollars put it on the side in case you need it is a good idea and of course enabling the MSP port on a free UART so if something goes wrong with your micro USB port you have an alternative solution instead of just throwing away the flight controller there is a way to flash the flight controller through the FTDI port and enable the MSP port even though it's not enabled but it's more complex than just enabling the MSP port when everything is working fine. As always I thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful if you have any questions feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye!